$750 to get your Starlink activated in a sold out location. A congestion charge, which is pretty much crowdsourcing funds to accelerate the rate of expansion of the Starlink satellite network. How many of you would be willing to pay this activation fee in Arare? So in case you missed it, Starlink went live in Zimbabwe almost a year ago. <laughs> it feels like we've had it since forever now. Anyways, in two weeks, the hustlers of Harare had bought enough of Elon's internet boxes that Harare was showing as sold out. This happened in a few other cities all over Africa, including Lagos in Nigeria. So nothing new there, just in case you're all feeling special. What's a bit frustrating is, since then, all new Starlink customers in Arari and Blawayo have been put on a waitlist that seems to have no hope of fulfillment. And it's pretty worth it getting Starlink. The subscriptions are as low as $30 a month for unlimited, fast internet. But we can't ignore the high cost of the kit at $200 for the mini and $389 for the standard. And this excludes shipping and subs. Also, they recently removed the payment plan option for the mini, something that was helping out the lower income customers. But then again, you Harare hustlers were moving mad. Apparently, you were buying these kids on that payment plan, then selling them for the full price locally to unsuspecting buyers who then got the shock of their life, seeing the pending payments left on a kit that they had paid full price for. And this is why you can never have nice things. That said, <laughs> jumping certain hoops to get the service kind of made financial sense in the long run till, well, the waitlist crept on us and that a good number of you are still on to this day. Crazy. Um, also, just check the situation in Arare and the sold out area, it just keeps growing. Chinoi, <laughs> Chegutu, things are getting pretty touch and go. Pack that plan if you haven't gotten your kit yet. What's crazy is that Every month, Starlink is sending 200 to 250 new satellites to space. So what's the holdup? Well, one of the reasons why it's taking so long for capacity to open up is that the life of these satellites providing internet connection to your kit is five years, after which they are deorbited, which just means they fall out of the sky and burn up completely on their way down. About 80 satellites get deorbited every month. Another factor is new service areas. So globally, Starlink keeps expanding its services to more markets. Some of the capacity goes to those new customers in newly serviced areas, just like how they open it up in Zim. Also, Starlink tries to maintain a standard when it comes to the performance of their network, which means they won't open the floodgates and allow everyone with a kit to connect to it in an area that's at capacity because it'll affect the uptime, the network stability, and download speeds for everyone in that area. They'd rather kill you with FOMO until they figure it out than ruin the fun for those that are already on the network. And I can confirm that in my 10 months using it, it's only faced an outage once. Uh, Editor Eddie speaking here. So, first outage, Kenya. The ground station got switched on and shut down a couple of African countries for a few minutes. Uh, came back up, no big deal. The second one happened the day that I was shooting this particular video. And what happened there is it was a global outage because of a faulty software update that was done on the Starlink network. Now back. To video edit. Download speeds on average have been around 150 megabits per second and it's just been more reliable than fiber or LTE in my specific area. I think at some point Starlink realized that they're not expanding that capacity fast enough so they started a program in the US where you can buy a kit in an area that's at capacity and if you want to get connected you can pay a one-time surcharge that activates your Starlink. This $750 one-time activation fee is live in Washington state in the US for subscribers who want to connect to the service. The pitch is that it's going to fund an accelerated rate at which the Starlink network expands its capacity, hopefully reducing the wait times till they're eliminated completely. Bringing it back to our teapot shaped country, Starlink recently added an activation fee to the ordering page but with a comment that the activation fee has been waived. 
Could this be Starlink preparing to add a surcharge for Harare clients relegated to the waitlist? Hey, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm pretty sure it won't be 750 bucks like what's going on in Washington State. It's probably going to be a more reasonable figure that is sensitive to the Zimbabwean market. If you're on the waitlist, um, would you be willing to pay this one-time activation fee? And if yes, how much are we talking? I mean, I'd say 50 bucks is kind of fair for Zim. Uh, but yeah, been fun hanging out with you guys. See you soon. Wait a second. Wait, what's this regulatory fee?